Hello, everyone. My name is Josiah, and I'd like to welcome you all to the Voice of the Vault podcast, the Vault Publications Multimedia and Meme Podcast. Uh, basically, what we do, we're um, we're a club that basically just you know publishes shit. We post it on the internet. We have a couple of laughs. We have a couple of giggles. Um, sometimes the articles are serious. Sometimes they are not. You can follow us at uh, a bunch of our social media. You can follow us on Instagram at the Vault, uh, Facebook, um, Discord, or you could just go directly to our website at www.thevaultpublication.com. Um, well, anyways, the Vault podcast is kind of a uh, offspring from the main in publication. We're basically trying to expand our, our our form, and what I'm doing here today is basically a uh, preemptive uh, recording. I'm, I'm seeing, I'm testing the waters. I'm seeing if, um, you know, I, we can create sound files correctly, you know, that sort of thing. So I'm just going to be basically spouting a bunch of nonsense. I haven't done this very long, so you have to forgive me. Um, anyways, uh, we'll, we'll get right into it. Uh, today's podcast is sponsored by uh, Bepis, the best cola alternative for the cowards who refuse to take a side in the soda race wars. Uh, you know you're listening. I know you're listening, you fucking normies. You better yeet on over here and, and buy some Bepis. It's very cheap, very, uh, very appropriate, and it's better than both Pepsi and Coca-Cola because it's neutral. It doesn't taste like anything. It's basically bottled water, bottled water that's been carbonated. Anyways, on to our main topic. Um, great sponsorship, honestly. Uh, but we have uh, a couple things to talk about today. Actually, more, more specifically, one thing that is kind of uh, related to another. Now, usually I would have William here on the podcast by my side, and usually he would be kind of like my filter, but, you know, I'll try and keep it a little bit subtle. Um, today's topic is an introduction to 4chan. Now, for those of you who don't know exactly what 4chan is, 4chan is a cesspool at the bottom of the internet. It's almost banned from, from Google. It's almost taken down from Google, but it's not. It's the most free, free speech that you can find on the web. If you're looking to get into 4chan, I would first of all recommend that you, you go on with the expectation that you're going to get fucked up, all right? 4chan is going to mess with you if you're not careful. Now, 4chan began in the early 2000s um, as a website designed mostly for uh, shitposting and anime and manga culture. It was basically an American rendition of the 2chan board, which is the Japanese language board. Uh, however, it, 4chan in recent years has been kind of uh, chastised because of its specific boards, specifically uh, slash B or random, and politically incorrect, uh, which is slash poll. Now, the reason that slash poll has gotten a lot of attention recently is the Donald Trump election and a bunch of other kind of scandals. Since it's so free in terms of speech, anyone can say anything they want on slash poll. As a result, we've got a bunch of people that are uh, racist, that are in the alt-right, that are anti-Semitic. That they can all go on there and spurg their opinions for as much as they want. But um, little do most people know, uh, 4chan isn't just slash poll or slash B. We're, we're going to be talking more about the boards that are safe. And that, those actually make up a majority of the, of the boards on 4chan. Under adult boards, you, you got a bunch of porn boards, but um, other than that, and the slash B and slash poll, everything else is, is generally good. For example, um, you've got slash X. It's about a lot of different things that are really interesting. For example, I, I'm looking at a thread here, wondering if it's impossible to make a person immortal and uh, see if they can use magic in order to pr prolong their lives, which is an interesting perspective considering the fact that most people in society don't actually believe that you can do that, and yet you've got these outliers that, that are here because of the free speech. They can say whatever the hell they want. We could go to the classic boards, like anime and manga, and the first thing that comes up is Doki Doki Literature Club, which is technically not an anime or a manga or Japanese, which, like, why is it here? In any case, the anime board is a lot more um, tame than the other boards. It's mostly just people commenting about anime and making memes. So basically, 4chan as a website, while there are some really toxic boards, has, for the most part, been a decent uh, website. 
Now, again, I wouldn't recommend anyone go on there if you're sensitive or you get easily offended because you're going to get offended very quickly and you're going to want to uh, delete 4chan. Speaking of which, I have a little story for you all. It's from the Internet Historian. He's a great YouTuber. He talked about this thing called the Tumblr Wars. 4chan has gone through a bunch of different conflicts where they've both been represented by Slash B and Slash Pull. In this instance, some people from Tumblr, uh, as you know, Tumblr tends to be a very left-leaning, very uh, socially active, politically correct board. Someone went on Tumblr and said, uh, 4chan is full of uh, racist assholes. We have to go out and take them down. And uh, a bunch of Tumblr fans just uh, got together and raided Slash B. And they, they realized real quick after posting a couple, you know, uh, socially, politically correct memes, and they're like, oh, uh, this is definitely not the place for us. I'm scared of this. There are neo-Nazis on here. I'm out of here. See, the problem with 4chan is that 4chan doesn't forgive and 4chan does not forget. Literally within 72 hours, all of Slash B was on Tumblr making fake accounts and spamming the most popular social justice threads with gore porn, uh, porn, normal gore, and uh, all sorts of like really, really... But anyways, yeah, it, it, it lasted for quite a while actually before the people stopped uh, posting. What you can gather from that story is that 4chan is not a place for the, for the weak, and it's not a place for the easily offended. You have to be ready to get desensitized. You have to be ready to not care what anyone says because people are going to say some really fucked up shit, and, it's, and sometimes, more often than not, it's going to be aimed at you. I've been on 4chan personally for uh, on and off for like three years now. Essentially, you just have to, to know the culture, and if you blend in properly, they'll, they'll accept you as their own. But usually they can sniff out an army. Anyways, that looks like it's all the time that we have. This one is going to be a lot shorter than most of the other shows that, that we would be doing. Normally, we're going to be going for something like half an hour to an hour, depending on um, how many people we have here, uh, how long we want the recording, etc. Anyways, thank you for listening to the podcast. We're going to be doing a song of the day after every podcast. Uh, for our first song, we're going to be going with the outro credits to the Samurai Champloo anime. I hope you all have a wonderful day. See you next time.